<laughs> I almost had a heart attack. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm just running out of things to do there, but I do have a box for you. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks again, and thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, because that's awesome. I don't know why you do it, but I appreciate that you do. I'm SB Mitch, probably the most annoying sneaker YouTube person there is. Here's my info. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I also have a website where you can find all the things that I unbox here on this channel and on this video. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, what video are we doing today? Well, it's obvious from the title. This is a beater box from Soul Supremacy. Soul Supremacy is a sneaker shop based outside of the Bay Area of California that has this beater box, beater bops. Beater Box membership program. You pay monthly to be a part of it. Memberships are currently closed. They're closed right now, so I don't have to answer 15 billion questions about it. Follow them on Twitter, turn on post notifications, because that's pretty much the only way you're gonna be able to get a membership. This box was $700 plus $40 to ship it here to North Philadelphia for a grand total of $740. These boxes are priced under market, so there's a really good chance to make some money, but stick around till the end anyway, because me and MC Hammer are gonna break it down to show you how much this box is worth versus how much I paid. And since I don't have my x-ray goggles right now, we gotta open it to see what's inside. I don't have x-ray goggles, nor have I ever had x-ray goggles, so that was a blatant lie. Really good first impression, me. Ugh. It's a really good face when you, when you open up a box. Uh, hey, look at that, boom. That's Clarence. They're gonna keep an eye on everything coming out of this box, telling you, the viewer, how much each shoe is worth and keep in tally just for fun, for, for giggles and whatnots. So let's, uh, the face I made is because there's a lot of loose shoes in here. So let's get them out of the way. They all look like grade school too. Oh, woof. This first one out is a worn pair in a size six and a half youth. This is an Air Jordan 5 grade school. I think this is the white cement. Uh, Jordan 5s. No cracking or anything weird, just a little bit of wear on the bottoms. Nothing too fancy. I mean, at least it's got the lace locks. Do they both have lace locks? Yeah, they do. Uh, I mean, it's a grade school shoe. Six and a half could fit some people with smaller feet, so there's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> grade school Jordans, are they're still good quality, but just not the same quality as the general releases. But here's your first Lucy of, looks to be four loose pairs. It's a grade school six and a half. Jordan five, white cement, more grade school. And it's another five. This is an Air Jordan five, size six and a half youth. This is the Raptors colorway. Uh, this is a pretty recent release too. This is pretty clean. Uh, it's got like a suede-ish upper. I mean, worn again, you can clean them up. Not a bad shoe, pretty decent colorway. No box, as I said before, but I mean, it's grade school. I just said a bunch of stuff about grade school shoes, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. So there's your second shoe out. Grade school Jordan 5 Raptors colorway. <laughs> Another grade school. This actually isn't too bad. This is the 2016 release. It's a size for youth. It's an Air Jordan. 11 Retro Space Jam with the 45 on the back. That's how you know it's the 2016 release. A Little bit of wear on the bottoms. Not very discolored though. Same condition as the other ones. Just need a good cleanup and these will be ready to go. A little bit smaller than six and a half, but them's the brakes, I guess. So there's your third shoe. It's a Jordan 11 Retro Space Jam 2016 release. Grade school size for youth. And the last loose shoe, this is actually a normal size. Oh yeah, yes it is. This is a size 10. This is a Vapor Max 2. I think it's called like Pink Burst or something like that or Pink Blast or something weird like that. They look like they've been worn once or maybe are new, but they've at least been tried on, which tried on is not a condition, so nine out of 10 condition. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, there's definitely more support in the Vapor Max 2 than the original Vapor Maxes, but I mean, Vapor Maxes are just kind of goofy looking to me in general. Um, while the end, these looks pretty good, I guess. I don't know. So there's your fourth shoe out, it's size 10. Vapor Max 2, pink explosion, pink explosion. Well, this box started off really bad. First shoe of the box this is a size nine Airfoam Posit Pro Premium. 
This is a foam posit box that, yep, this is always gonna happen with foam posit boxes. I don't know why they do it, but these are the Yeezy colorway mm. of the foam posits. Foam posits, there's still a market for them. People really like them. And this is actually a really, really desirable colorway as far as foams go. It doesn't look like there's any scratching or anything kind of weird on the tops or on the uppers or anything. Uh, bottoms are in really good shape. I think they glow in the dark too, as is reminiscent of an Air Yeezy too, so. First shoe with the box, fifth shoe out of the box is an Air Foam Posit Pro. Uh, there's a lot of shoes in here. Uh, <laughs> Jordan 2 Retro size for youth. This is the Jordan 2 Chicago colorway, I wanna say. Uh, these are lightly worn too, but good shape. Um, I mean, there's barely any toe box creasing on there, if you can't tell. I mean, the kid wore them, so. For youth is small. Jordan 2s don't have a great draw, but I mean, it's a close to new shoe. What are you gonna do? Kids' shoes are just, they're, they're hit or miss. That's just all there is to it, so. Sixth shoe out, right? Yeah, sixth shoe for you. The Jordan 2 Chicago colorway, I wanna say. Not 100% sure, but at least it has the original box. Size seven, hey, we're out of youth at least. Size seven, Flyknit it racer. These are dead stock, yeah? Yeah, these are dead stock. This is just like a black and white colorway. It's a volt insole. Unworn, really lightweight, size seven, might be a tough size to sell. Ooh, there's some kind of receipt in here. They got it from Nike Direct, so. I mean, it's a runner, it's thin, it's a basic colorway. Size seven, there's really nothing else you can say about it. So there you go, size seven, Flyknit Racer. I feel like I'm only halfway through this entire box. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> size nine and a half, Nike Finger Trap Max NRG. I mean, I guess this is what it is. It looks like an Air Max 90, but it's not. The upper is a little bit different. Looks like an infrared kind of colorway. It's a really lightweight shoe. I think it has a, uh, a free run sole to it or something. I don't really know much about this. I can't imagine there's much value in here. Uh, probably a throw in, so size nine and a half. <laughs> oh boy, okie dokie. Hey, I recognize some boxes now, that's good. Next up, this is a 13, size 11. These are the olive 13s, I wanna say they're called. Um, not a great colorway. I think these released like alongside a bunch of Chris Pauls or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not a huge fan of 13s, but lightly worn. Just need a really quick cleanup. Kind of an okay colorway, not a huge fan of it. But I mean, there's still even the plastic on the hologram right there. So these are very lightly worn in a size 11. Jordan 13, olive, whatever it's called. Hey, we're into normal sizes now. So there's two more. No, there's three more in here. Size nine, Air Jordan 14 retro, according to the box. Yep, okay, these are the last shot 14s. These came out like like late last year, I think. I think it was in the anniversary of him wearing the last shot 14s. These are in pretty decent shape. They just need a good cleanup. There's a little bit of, on the outsole, some of that scraping and stuff. So that will definitely affect the value. But of all the 14s, this is probably one of the better ones, I will say. Size nine, good size. Last shot 14s. Two more in here. This looks like a like an infant something or other. It's a Yeezy Boost 350 infant, size 10K. Yeah, these are worn. Okay, good. So these are worn. Little kids don't wear shoes very long. But this is a pair of pirate black little little Yeezys. <laughs> this is hilarious. These are V1s, obviously. It's got the strap on the back. These are freaking adorable. I kind of want to put them on pancake. Not dead stock, really lightly worn. I don't know the value on these. This might actually be the money shoe of the box. If, yeah, size 10K, pirate black, Yeezy 350 V1. This box is confusing. Uh, okay, here's the last box out. It's an Air Jordan. Air Jordan 1, size 10. You'll see why I almost had a heart attack in just a second. Ah, uh, okay, if the, what is going on with this pair? Holy, what the, okay. And this is not what it looks like. This is not a pair of Fragment 1s. This is a custom job of a Game Royal 1. The toe cap wrap around here is usually the Game Royal color right here. A lot of people did this custom because it's really easy to do to mimic the fragments. This is actually a really, really well done custom too. Yeah, the paint is even. So this is a custom Game Royal 1 to look like a fragment, size 10. But the custom job on here is actually really, really well done. So whoever did this, good job. Tip of the cap to you. These just need a really quick cleanup. I don't know what the value on these is gonna be like. I can't imagine it's gonna be much more than retail because A, they're worn and B, they're a custom. So there you go. I think people call them poor man's frags. Size 10, Game Royals custom. Well, that is your box. This is a lot of shoes. Let's go ahead and just do the report card. Oh my 
Goodness, there's a lot of shoes in this box. So we'll get a grade through three categories, condition, sizes, and hype slash value, because a shoe with no hype has no value. So let's do condition first. There are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is my new record for the amount of shoes in one box. There's 12 shoes in this box, and one is dead stock. It's not a really good ratio. So taking that into account, plus there's no boxes for a lot of these shoes. Condition on this box, D plus. Let's do sizes. Six and a half youth, six and a half youth, four youth, 10, four youth, nine, seven, 11, nine and a half, nine, 10, and 10K. A lot of grade school and infant shoes in here. This is oof. So sizes, we'll say about a C plus. Hype slash value. This is definitely a quantity over quality box. So I'm just gonna guess hype slash value on this box, we'll say a B minus. So with the grade of D plus for condition, the grade of C plus for sizes, and the grade of B minus for hype slash value, this $700 Soul Supremacy meter box gets a grade of C wow. in the SB Mitch report card. <laughs> So I went ahead and gave this wacky box a letter grade of C, but how's the value looking? Break it down. I got my work cut out for me on this one. This is an interesting box. I can't say it's bad, but I don't know if it's good. So it could go either way. For a $700 box, this is interesting. Let me know what you think. I gotta, I gotta look everything up so I don't have an opinion on it yet. So <sighs> most of these shoes should be on sale today, six o'clock PM. My website, ransomnotesneakers.com. Oh, I can't get over this box. Yeah, so um, again, thank you everybody. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you like what's going on here, go ahead and subscribe. You can like the video if you like it. If you dislike it, don't be afraid to hit the dislike button. Tons of people do anyways. And uh, have a great weekend. And I'll see you next week with some kind of video. Till then, take care of each other. And remember, if you're not having fun doing it, find something you love doing and do that. Because it's the easiest way to be happy. And that's the best way to live. Bye-bye.